hello everyone welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to dive deep in into floors we're going to talk about five must known hacks in floors which i think it's very important to know let's start with floor types we have floors in architecture tab in here we have four different options and also we have another one in a structure which has only three different types since we have one more in here we are going to work on floors in architecture tab first one is floor architecture if you select it in here you can select different types of floor we have metal deck beam concrete floors and also wood floors then if you go to edit type and in this structure you can add or remove different layers for your floor you can change their material and also their thickness with this boundary line you can use these options for drawing your shape simply like this you just need to select one of these and draw your floor then you have this slope arrow which you can use for creating a slope and changing the height of your floor the end and the start of your floor for example and after that we have this span direction which we're going to talk about it in structure floors I'm going to delete this one and hit finish now if you go to 3d you can see your floor exactly here and if you select it you will have these shape editing tools in here which you can use again for creating a slope on your floors next floor is this floor structure which is kind of similar to architecture floor but if you look at this part you will see that this structure is checked and we have all of these rebar covers for different parts we have the same option in this edit type in these floor types here and also with all of these shapes but if you draw a floor on a structure like this you will see that this span direction here it's important because if you hit finish you will have these span direction here i'm going to change the scale a little bit more so we can see these clearly these shapes are used when you want to add beam beam system to your structure as you can see it's on one way slab and you can change it to two way slab too and you will have a shape like this if you delete it you can add it again from this annotation tab in this span direction you just need to first click on your floor and then click inside where you want to locate your span then again if you select your floor and go to its edit boundary with this span direction here you can change the direction of your span to whatever side that you want now if we hit finish you will see that the direction of your span will change another difference that we have between architecture floors and the structure floors is that if you select it in addition to this shape editing you will have this reinforcement tab and with this you can add rebars separately or in groups to your floor or with this area reinforcement we don't have these options in architecture floors but if you check this box you will have all of them here now again if you go to 3d view they both look the same but the function of them is different another type of floors that we have in this part is this slab floor which works only on these edges if you click on these parts on a structure floor or on architecture floor you can have these slabs here the slabs are structural elements so if you select them you can add rebars to them and also you can you have these rebar covers here too if you go to their edit type they have different profiles here i'm going to change this one to for example something like this to show you their difference if you want different shape of profiles for your floors you just need to simply go to file and create a new family in profiles generic profiles and just load them into your project then you can select them from these parts and also you can change their material from here the last floor type that we have in here is this floor by face for this type of floor we need to have a mass shape so i'm going to delete these parts and go to massing and size in here i'm going to create a new in place mass and i'm going to just do a very simple circle in this part and with this create form i'm going to create something like this 
and then i'm going to select this part and with this scale option i'm going to make it a little bigger like this now i will hit finish this floor by face works only on levels so i'm going to add some other levels to this part i'm going to click on this level and with this peak line and offset of three meters i'm going to create one in here and another one in this part now if you go to 3d view and click on this floor by face you have these options here but they will not work in any place you can't click on this part you can click on your levels you can not use this create floors or any other things it's because before we use this option we need to assign levels to this mass for this you need to select your form and then click on this mass floors now you need to check all of these levels and you will have all of them in here they are only layers layers of levels just to see all of them here now if you go to floor again and click on this floor by face you can select these two for example and if you hit enter you will have your floors simply like this now if you go to massing and turn off this show mass you will have your floors like this in here okay let's move on to the next part i'm going to delete these and in first plan i'm going to use this structural floors be the floor that have multiple layers and i'm going to do one in this part then i'm going to create a section in here and we are going to look at this floor from this view put your detail level on fine and your visual style on consistent colors in here you can see that we have multiple layers select it and go to its edit type click on this part and you will see all our layers in the structure boundary and also under it and in here you can see these two layers in core boundary i'm going to insert another layer up here and i'm going to change it to finish one for its material i'm going to use something simple very simple like this carpet for example and i'm going to change its thickness to for example five centimeter okay go to 3d view and select it let's say this is a floor for a bathroom which needs to have the slopes or for example this is a kind of ramp or simply a, a space that needs to direct water into a specific place for this we are going to use these options here if you click on this modify sub element you will have four grid four handles in all corner of your floor and if you select them you can change their elevation from this part or if you select these lines you can change this part all together let's say we have a drain in this part i have loaded one two here and i'm going to put it in this part now if you look at it from 3d view you will see it in here now if you select your floor you can click on this modify sub element and with this add point you can click on this part if you look at it from this view you can click exactly on this part now if you select your floor and go to this modify sub element you can select this point and change its elevation from here we usually have two centimeter deep in these parts but to see better i'm going to use like eight centimeter elevation minus eight centimeter elevation and i'm going to hit enter now if you look at it from this section you will have this disaster this is not real usually when we add a slope to our floor our structure will remain the same but in here you can see that our structure and all layers below it have these bent now to fix this you need to select your floor and go to this edit type in here you need to check this box or this box in variable and you need to do this on a structure i'm going to click on this part and hit ok now as you can see these layers below this structure layer are correct we can also keep this layer straight too so we need to select it and in this part you need to check this box 
in this error it says that because we had like minus eight centimeter offset and this layer is five centimeter we can't use this variable for here so if we change this part to let's say 10 centimeter you can check this box and this way this layer of a structure will have no bend okay and okay perfect this is our 10 centimeter layer and it worked as substrate let's move on to the third part sometimes when we want to have slopes for parkings or some entrances we need to use this ramp here it's very simple you just need to do it like this and hit finish you will have very simple shape with these railings and also a slope like this if you select it you can make it bigger like this the problem is none of our ramps has only one layer material if you select it and go to this edit type you will have only this material and finishes ramp material here with no other layers on top of it or below it although we have these options here to calculate the length of the ramp and also these parts for changing the shape of the ramp like this but important thing is that we need to have different layers for this you can just simply use one of these architecture or structure floors you just need to do it like this and with this slope arrow create a shape like this for wherever you want now if you select your floor you can add different materials to it if you want you can separate the architecture and the structure floors and also you can add these reinforcements to your rebars too i think for having ramp in this part we need to have a little bit more option more than these simple options let's delete these and move on to the next part we are going to learn about differences between layers of floors so i created this structure floors with all of these different layers and we're going to go to its edit type first as you can see in here we have different layers with different material and thicknesses but for now we are going to work on this function one of the most important things that you need to know about function in layers is these numbers inside these square bracket this structure has number one and also if you open this and scroll down you will see this structural deck with also number one priority this is very important when it comes to joining different layers different parts of for example a wall or a floor together the structure part in core boundary is one of the most important parts and which has number one priority after that we have this substrate which works basically as a foundation for other layers and it has lots of different uses it could be a gypsum board it could be cement it could be concrete also its priority is number two it means that between all of these layers after this structure part this substrate has higher priority after that we have this thermal air layer which has number three priority this part and also this membranes layer work as kind of insulation in our floor or you can use it in walls too since membranes layer have no thickness we can't enter any thickness for it it hasn't any priority but for this thermal air layer you can add thickness and also you can change their material too after this we have this finish one with number four priority which we use for the finish in exterior side or for the top material for our floor after that we have this finish two with priority of five which is the lowest priority and we use it for interior side or the below layer of our floors this is basically everything you need to know about function in layers we talked about their priority and also the function of each layer now let's move on to the final part 
which is one of the most important parts in this tutorial and let's see how all of these works together so in this last part we are going to check how different layers between wall and the floor connect and join together as you can see in here we have a wall and a floor with multiple layers and each part of them have different priorities with different function for the layer this is our structure part and this gray part in here is also a structure for this wall and since this structure part of both of them have the same priority priority number one they can cut each other exactly like this our floor cuts through all of these different layers with lower priority and it reached to this end of the structure part of our wall but since our core boundary finishes in this part it didn't pass through these layers in the other side of our boundary our core after that we have this substrate layer in here it's this green one and in our wall we have this light brown color as our substrate which is this one in here gibson board so since they both have priority of two they didn't cut each other and you can see the cut the way they reach to each other with this line if they had the same material you wouldn't see these part two and they join together like this part as you can see this is the layer the gibson layer of our floor and we have also gibson layer for our wall and since the material of both sides are the same you don't see even a line in here let's go to this edit type and change this layer to a structure which has priority of one in this case if we hit apply this layer should cut through this low priority layer which has a priority of two and it should reach to this layer with higher priority exactly like this but there is also another way that we can do this since this core boundary is very important if we move this substrate down to this part we will have the same result like this so with this we know that whatever layer which is in this core boundary is way more important than the priority again i'm going to move this part down to here and you saw that it reached to this structure again and yes we have all of these rules in this part and in this part too these priorities and all of those numbers in that bracket was also very hard for me and I didn't know about them for a very long time. If we learn these earlier, we can use them in everywhere because it's kind of confusing things when you don't know how to join different layers to each other. And after that I learned about it, I think it was pretty simple actually. So yes, that's it. I hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!